So before, sorry about that. I'm gonna start over. Okay. Today is day 100, 364 of doing yoga every single day. And yoga has helped me in my recovery from being a workaholic. It has helped me in three ways. But before I jump into those ways and how you can maybe benefit from yoga, I want to talk about my definition of being a workaholic. For me, it means that I get my identity from work, which is great when things are going well <clears throat> and really bad when things are not going well. When things are not going well, it impacts my health, my sleep, my skin. It's really, really hard. So yoga actually helps me alleviate those issues in three ways. And I really want you all to try yoga after this speech today and see if it can help you, even if you're not a workaholic or not at least one that's admitted it yet. All right, three things. The first one is my morning yoga. Every morning I go into my meditation room and I start off with a chant. Om bar bhuvasaha tad savator vayanyam. And this chant helps me connect with the divine. It helps me go from darkness to light. I actually watch the sunrise as I do this chant. And chanting is, has so many benefits, but actually it's really proven to reduce stress and help your sympathetic nervous system feel restored. The next part of my yoga routine in the morning is asana. So whenever you look at yoga magazines or Google yoga, what you're going to see is poses, right? You're going to see these big moves, chaturanga, tree pose. Those are called asana. But yoga actually has many different pieces to it. And asana is only one of them. So when I do my asana, I'm moving my body, and what I want us all to do is go ahead and lift your arms over your head, stretch. It's morning. Praveen, there you go. I can see everybody, at least most people. And bring them down. Let's inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Ah, oh, didn't that feel great? So what asana does is it helps loosen up all the joints. If you just woke up, your back's a little stiff, your shoulders are a little stiff, your hips are stiff, and doing a little bit of movement gets the blood and the energy flowing. After I finish my physical asana, then I move into pranayama. People know about pranayama because it's about breathing. And there's all kinds of different breath work that you can do for different things. It is time to move to my second thing. After I finish my morning routine, I go into work and I actually work from home and I do all this work and I get really stressed out and I get really wound up and I'm like, work is the only thing that matters. But then I remember the yoga. So what I do is I take little yoga breaks and I go and have a tiny little yoga break and it helps restore me. Now, this is not just my experience. The NIH actually says that yoga is scientifically proven to reduce stress. So we're gonna do it together. For 30 seconds, each of you is about to do a little bit of a stress reduction. Now, the way this works is there's two parts. There's arms. So again, we are gonna move our arms up and we're gonna have our hands hold it down like this, our fingers folded like this with our thumbs pointing, all right? You guys are doing so well, except for me. There we go. And then the second part, you can put your arms down, let me teach you this, is a breath. It's called the breath of fire. And it's gonna make you very warm. But the way you, it's actually gonna be through the nose, but I'm gonna teach it through the mouth just really quickly. So you go like this, <laughs> like a little dog. Okay, great. And now we're gonna do those two, but through the, through the nose. All right, for 30 seconds, I have a clock here. Ready, set, go.
Almost there. Ten more seconds. Oh, touch your thumbs together, close your eyes and move your energy into your head. Take a deep breath in. All right, now slowly bring your arms down, slowly. All right, everyone just take a moment, close your eyes and feel how that 30 second movement reduce stress or anxiety. Awesome, I wish I had another 45 minutes with you. So it is scientifically proven that these little tiny things can reduce your blood sugar, reduce your anxiety. It's really healthy for you, especially if you have a hard, long day. That was only 30 seconds. You can fit that between meetings. Next, let's talk about community. The third way that yoga has really helped me recover from being a workaholic is creating community. I actually now teach yoga in my backyard and I'm building this community of people who care about each other. Did you know that being lonely is as dangerous for your health as smoking a pack a day? <sighs> That's pretty crazy. So building community is really critical. Today, I shared the three ways that yoga has helped me. Number one, it's helped me with my morning routine. Number two, it's helped me reduce stress. And number three, it's helping me build community. Raise your hand if you're gonna try yoga after my convincing speech. And, oh my goodness, I, I've succeeded. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>